From 2020, Purple Group was the stock market's new darling, and over the next two years, just 24 months, their shares grew by an insane 784%. If you had invested 10,000 Rand in Purple Group in January 2020, you would have made around 90,000 Rand in just two years. And it seemed like everyone was talking about the stock and making money off it hand over fist, including me who bought Purple Group during that time. But as with many things in life, it was not meant to last. And this Icarus stock lived fast and died young because in the next two years, it lost 80% of its total share value. And right now it's trading at just a measly 76 cents per share. And most of the investing world is left scratching their heads and wondering what happened to this company that owns Easy Equities, what went wrong and why did the stock tank leaving thousands of people with a red number for the share and at the end of the video we'll answer the most important question which is now that it has tanked is it now a great value stock to buy before its next rally we'll break down all of the data and analytics of the company to see what happened to the stock why it tanked and whether it is now a good buy or to sell and stay away and i'll also show you just how much i personally made or lost on my own purple group shares. This story is one of the craziest this year, so let's get started. Okay, that is quite the introduction, but it's because the story of Purple Group really does sound like the rise and fall of a stock market titan. And whether you invested in them or not, the story is fascinating and we're going to totally break down the stock and show you how to value the share or any share to see whether they are a good buy after they have dropped or if they have actually dropped for a reason and you should stay away. But guys, before we get started, I just wanted to mention that for the first time ever, we're having a seven day free trial over at the Casual Cash Club, mainly because I just found out right now that I could do that. <laughs> so that means that you can get access to a range of posts containing all of my buys and sells, my monthly portfolio updates and income statements, market news as it happens, Excel sheets to track your investments, tips and tricks on how to invest better, and a one-on-one -on -one inbox to ask me any questions. I just added this section right here called collections, which are pretty cool and they're like a playlist of all the relevant posts that you want to see for each category. And after the seven days, if you don't want to continue, you don't have to, but if you do, it would be great to have you there with 43 of our other members. So free trial for the link in the description is available for the next seven days and I'll see you there. But back to the video. So most people will know, but for those that don't, Purple Group is the company that holds and owns Easy Equities and a few others. To be specific, it owns Easy Equities, Easy Properties, Easy Asset Management, GT247.com, Rise, and lastly, Easy Crypto. Then they also operate some smaller services as well. But to be honest, the thing that we all know them for and the biggest income generator in their business is of course the Easy Equities platform. So that brings us to the first part of the story, which is the rise of Purple Group. Now, as we all remember, but keep trying to forget, the beginning of 2020 was different to most of the other years we've had. Within a couple of months, the coronavirus had spread throughout the world and we all found ourselves confined to our houses, not able to go out to dinner or do our hobbies or have get togethers and basically the entire world was now sitting around with an internet connection and nothing to do. And strange as it may sound, this was actually the spark that really caused the Easy Equities platform to take off and with it, Purple Group's finances. Because you see, there was a series of fortunate events for Purple Group. First of all, the stock market tanked. As you can see very clearly by the sharp decline right here. But despite what we all thought, the sudden drop was short lived and that is because of the next fortunate event. Because while there was hardship in the times of COVID, it also had another effect. Because the people who were fortunate to keep their jobs, which was quite a fair few in the grand scheme of things, now found themselves with an income coming in, but not able to go out and spend it. So all of a sudden, a very large part of the population were sitting with an increasing amount of savings in their bank accounts. And with products and travel being very limited, they decided to, well, invest it. And because of all of this new money being put into the stock market, well, stock prices started to slowly go up and people started making money. But that was just the very beginning, the tip of the iceberg. 
And that is because governments around the world, as a response to COVID turmoil, started to bring down interest rates to the lowest they had been in a very long time. In the case of South Africa, it was around 3%, and in places like America, it was all the way down to 0%. Now, this came back to bite us later. As you know, we have high interest rates now to make up for it, and markets are going down. But at the time, there was the perfect storm of people having lots of extra money in their pockets, and a stock market running on 0% interest rates, which meant, as you may remember, that all stock prices around the world started to soar. You can take a look at any of the major indexes around that time, and it is very easy to see that if you invested in the market anywhere along this rise, you were going to make a huge amount of money. And that is where Purple Group came in, because of course word travels, and especially when you have nothing to do, people would tell their friends of the profits they are making investing in the markets, and as word spreads, you now have millions of people wanting to get in on the tulip mania. And these millions of people have never invested before, so they turn to the easiest and cheapest platform they can find, they turn to easy equities. So whether you realize at the time or not, our mania to invest and make profit during 2020 is what set Purple Group and its share price on fire. But there was another factor. You see, Purple Group made the choice to market their own share to their users. I remember they would advertise it as a share to buy and incentivize Easy Equities users to buy it and get preferential rewards on the platform. So more people bought it and the price went up. Also, because more people were buying and selling on the Easy Equities platform during this time, the profit of the company was also going up exponentially from what it was before. So the company was doing well and the price of the shares went up. Then in time, it became a self-fulfilling prophecy because people bought PPE shares and the price went up. Then they told their friends about it and they bought and the price went up. Next thing you know, people were making multiple hundreds of percents in profit on Purple Group and people started sharing and posting and more and more people continued to buy and the share price went up and up and up, eventually all the way to a 784% growth in just 24 months. So it's actually quite unbelievable that this sequence of events are what led to a JSC behemoth. Now, let's pause a moment to look at the PPE shares at their peak and then I'll take you through why they dropped and collapsed. So from a share price of 38 cents in January 2020, by December 2022, they had made their way up to 337 cents. From a net loss in 2018 and 19 of 26 million and 9 million rand, their fortunes swung to net profits of 14 million and then 44 million rand for the next two years, an incalculable swing to profits. And their net assets, which are assets minus liabilities, or basically cash versus debt, went from net assets of 300 million rand all the way up to 552 million or half a billion rand. So all of this sounds like an amazing business fairy tale. But now the big bad question, simply put, what went wrong? Well, there are two things and we're going to start with the first, which is an overvaluation. There is no two ways about it. By the end of 2022, Purple Group was heavily, heavily overvalued. Similar to Bitcoin at the time, people were trading more on hype than stock fundamentals. And if you don't believe me, let's take a quick look at the numbers. First, let's look at what we just mentioned. The revenue for Purple Group in 2019 was 91 million a year. And by the end of 2022, it was 271 million which is 197% growth, but it was not close to the share price growth of 784%. And the same thing for assets, which went from 300 million to 552 million, a very nice 84% growth, but again, nowhere near to 784%. And lastly, we're going to look at the PE ratio or price to earnings ratio, which ranks the stock price compared to its earnings. The higher the PE ratio, the higher the shares are valued, and usually it can be an indicator that a stock is overpriced if it's too high. So to give an example, Anglo American, one of the JSE's top 40 companies, is currently trading at a PE ratio of six. And remember, the lower the number, the better the value. And at the beginning of this year, Purple Group was trading at a PE ratio of 104. So by all accounts and all the numbers at the time, this company was heavily overvalued. And the second part to this 
is that the tides started to turn and change for the stock markets and in turn easy equities because as we know in 2022 the interest rate started to go back up and as you can see just like clockwork as interest rates started to go up purple group shares started to go down but why is that well simply put when interest rates go up it becomes more expensive for businesses because their debt repayments go up so their growth usually goes down Secondly, people's extra income dries up because they are now paying more on house and car payments, so there is less money going into the stock market. Then savings accounts start to look more attractive because their positive interest rates are going up. So people take money out of the market and put them in interest accounts. Because of all of this, markets often go down, so people take out their money and the cycle repeats itself. Now, for easy equities, this meant one simple thing. It means less people were trading and it meant their mania was over and they were making significantly less money. That's why in November and February financials, they started showing a loss of 5 million rand a quarter. So the combination of higher interest rates, less activity on easy equities, and eventually them going from a profit to a loss are what popped the bubble. And as they say, easy come, easy go and the price started to fall and just like the rise the knock-on effect of the price falling and people selling meant it went down a full 80 percent from its highest point to where we see it today and that is very much the story of purple group the reason why it grew so fast and why we saw it drop so fast as well and as for myself i bought 3000 rand of purple group in june 2021 and at one point i was sitting at 127 percent in profit then it gradually came down and eventually went into a loss. I reevaluated and went through the fundamentals of the company and realized it wasn't something I wanted to hold long term and sold it for 2,576 Rand in March. So by reevaluating the stock, I made a smaller 14% loss instead of up to 80%. And I reinvested that back into my USA portfolio. But now for the big question. After all of this has taken place and the share price is down by 80%, is now the right time to buy into Purple Group to get some great value? Well, let's dive into the numbers and have a look. So this is just my personal opinion, but I myself won't be looking to buy into Purple Group anytime soon. And there are a couple of reasons. Right now, according to their latest audited results, the company is still making a loss. They recently issued a share rights offer which diluted existing shareholders in order to raise over 100 million rand for the company. The directors just a few months ago have been selling some shares. And the last and most important part for me is that they still have a PE ratio of 68.9%, which is still seven times higher than other financial companies. And according to Simply Wall Street, they are currently 952% overvalued and should be trading at one tenth of their current price. So it's a no from me. But keep in mind that perhaps as interest rates come down in the future, their fortunes might change. And for all I know, it could be a good opportunity to buy. I guess no one knows for sure right now, but for my portfolio, I prefer companies with a slightly more solid set of fundamentals before I invest for the long term. And the most important thing to remember in all of this is that seven day free trial for the casual cash club in the description. But guys, that is it for today's video. These types of videos take a while to research and put together. So if you enjoyed it, please give the video a like and a comment for the algorithm and share it with a friend if you think they might enjoy it too. Then subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, as always, on Casual Cash. Cheers.